What's up, family? Man, can you hear the birds out there? I love that. I love being out in nature. I love the sound of nature. Man, I want to have a heart to heart with you guys today. Man, what if? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if you were pulled by God as a quote unquote chosen one? And you were pulled to go to court to represent humanity. What if God was going to judge humanity based on your life? What would you have to say about humanity? What would you have to say about your life? What if aliens were coming in? Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. And their only understanding of humanity was to understand you. And they pulled you out of all the billions of people on this planet. And they took you up. And their understanding of humanity, whether or not humanity should be destroyed or what, was going to come from you. What if their only understanding of love, the emotions, was going to come from you. How would you represent humanity? How would you represent yourself? What if? It's easy to say, man, those are far-fetched ideas. But the reality is, they're closer to home than you think. Some people's only impression or understanding of God is going to come from you. Some people's understanding of love is going to come from you. What am I talking about? When you look at kids, the great majority of us was taught love. Whether it was fucked up or what, we was taught about love from our parents from our upbringing. What if your understanding of love was twisted? What if your parents programmed you or whoever it is that raised you, what if their concept of love was twisted? But that's all you know in regards to love. And you think your parents' twisted idea, your parents' twisted concept of love is reality. And so you grow up thinking, man, in order for this guy to love me, in order for this woman to love me, they have to love me based on my understanding of love. But my understanding of love is fucked up. My understanding of love is twisted, but I don't know it. I don't know that. And so I think everything that they do that's not in alignment with what my family taught me love was. Their actions ain't love. I don't give a damn what you do if it's not in the parameters of what I understand love as, then it ain't love. Not to me. What if our understanding of healing was twisted? What if we thought, because we've been programmed to believe, that in order to heal, I got to hurry up and get past this. Whatever it is, I got to move beyond this. And so my concept of healing from my understanding, my experiences, man, I just sweep it up under the rug like it didn't happen. And like, okay, it is what it is. It really didn't affect me. It really don't bother me. I'm able to just pick up the pieces and move right along without ever really dealing with it. What if? What if our concept of healing wasn't really healing? What if our concept of healing 
was really sabotaging our growth and development? What if our concept of healing was really just prolonging the pain, prolonging the agony? Because I'm not really dealing with it. Because I've learned as a kid, I've learned as a young person, I've learned as an older person. Man, I got to just get past this shit. I got to move beyond this. I got to hurry up and get past this. I got to stop allowing this to affect me. And so in order for me to stop this from affecting me, I got to stop thinking about it. And by not thinking about it, I move beyond it. That's what I think. If it don't hurt anymore, then, then I've healed. When the truth is all I've really done is just avoid it. I've avoided the thought of it. I've avoided the topic. I've avoided everything about it. Therefore, it don't exist in my world. It don't bother me. I'm good. I've moved beyond that. I've outgrown that. So we think. Not understanding that we're going to keep going through situations like that to keep getting opportunities to truly heal. And then we're going to have to go back and uncover everything we swept up under the rug. We're going to have to go back and uncover and pick up everything we neglected to heal. And we're going to have to face that. We're going to have to deal with that. What if? What if our concept of relationships are fucked up? What if we think people that tear us down, people that we have to chase after for their acceptance and their love? Because that's what we were programmed to do as a kid. I got to do things for my family, for my family to say, good boy, man, I'm proud of you. Good girl, I'm proud of you. Mm, here's a kiss. Here's a cookie. Here's some potato chips. Or whatever it is that we want, we have to chase after the affirmations. We have to chase after the acceptance. We have to chase after the approval of others. What if that taught us to grow up and chase after the approval of others? What if that taught us or programmed us in order to be accepted, in order to be validated? I have to do something that you accept, that you like. I have to be what you want me to be. I have to be who you want me to be. Because I was programmed to be that way as a little kid. What if? <sighs> what if the concept of hate, hating other people, Hating other religions. Hating other nationalities and ethnic groups. Hating other cultures. What if that was all part of the game? What am I mean? What if all of that stuff came from the notion, it came from the ideology that this group didn't feel compatible or this group didn't feel like they were on even ground with another group. And so this group taught the young ones to hate and dislike that group. 
What if this group was programmed to believe that they were better than all the other groups? For whatever reason, and we grow up in life thinking that same stupid ignorant shit. What if you were told that you wasn't shit? You, you were never good enough. No matter what you did, no matter what you said, it wasn't gonna be good enough. And so you were programmed to believe that you were a nobody. You were programmed to believe that you weren't accepted. You weren't a valued member of the com community. You weren't a valued member of the family. And so you grew up not liking you. You grew up not believing in you. You grew up Hating you, hating your life, hating your skin color, hating your ethnicity. Hating your community, hating your culture. What if your mom was hurt? over and over and over by guys. And you didn't know it at the time. And as you got a little older, you heard your mom disrespecting and dogging out guys. Saying guys ain't shit and these motherfuckers, all they want to do is just fuck you and just ruin your life and da 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 Mom had nothing positive to say about guys at all. What if your sister, your older sister, heard your mom concept of men? And your sister took on the identity, man, I don't want to date guys. Because all guys do it hurt you. All guys do is fuck you over. And then you took on the notion as a young man, as a young boy. Man. All guys ever did was hurt my mama. I'm listening to my sister. All guys ever did was hurt my sister. Guys ain't shit. Men ain't shit. I don't want to grow up and be a man. Because I don't want to grow up and hurt women. What if? Our words our actions have far more impact than we're led to believe. Our words, our actions have far more impact than we believe. When we say that guys ain't shit, when we say that women ain't shit, when we say that black people ain't shit, when we say that white people ain't shit, when we say Hispanics ain't shit, when we say Asians ain't shit, when we say Native Americans ain't shit, when we say all this ignorant shit, that leaves a mark on humanity. That leaves a mark on somebody's life. That leaves an imprint a negative toxic imprint on humanity. What if we switched it up? What if we changed our words? 
What if we changed our actions? And instead of tearing each other down, found something positive to say about the other culture, found something positive to say about somebody else's community or even our own community. What if we stop tearing everything down that we don't like and start building up what we do like? Why do I say that? Where your attention goes, your energy flows. I'll say it again. Where your attention goes, your energy flows. See, if all your attention is going is focused on what you don't like, what's not good enough, what's not acceptable to you. If your attention is on all the negative stuff, your energy is focused on all the negative stuff. And that's what's built. That may not be your attention, but that's what happens. So we have to learn to flip it up. Flip it over or flip it. You know what I mean? Flip the script. We have to learn to change the dynamics of our own brain. Change the dynamics of our own emotions. Change the dynamics of our own thoughts. Of our own actions. By changing what we focused on. By focusing on the beauty. By focusing on the positive. By focusing on, on the things you admire, the things you like. Our energy goes to that. And it uplifts that. It promotes that. More of that is created. We have to grow up. We have to understand what is it that we're doing that's destroying humanity? What is it that we're doing to destroy the other cultures? It's easy to sit back, these motherfucking hood motherfuckers, that ain't shit. And da, da. It's, either, it's easy to sit back and focus on the negative aspects. And to generalize and put all people in that group, all people in that group, in that category, in that same negative thing. Because the great majority of the politicians in America are white men. It's easy to say, man, white people ain't shit. Because these fucking politicians ain't shit. Whether they're Democrat or Republicans, they ain't shit. It's easy to sit back and say that. Because that's all you see for the great great majority. You see some blacks and Hispanics and Asians sprinkled in there. It's easy to say that. And you guys know, I don't fuck with no politicians. <laughs> and I don't give a damn what group they belong to. I don't. But what if we started sitting back and saying, hey, you know what? Instead of saying these politicians ain't shit. Instead of saying all these politicians don't give a fuck and we'll do what you do because that's what it seemed like. But instead of sitting back and saying all that negative stuff, because all that does is promote more of that negativity into the world. What if we flipped it? Instead of saying all the negative stuff about them. What if we did our own research. And start to try to find some of the positive things that they've done. And this is for me too. Because I don't fuck with religions. And one of the things I'm going to have to start doing more of. Because it's easy for me because I was part of religions. 
it's easy for me to sit back and point out all the negative. But what if we change that? And start seeing some of the positive things. That some of these religious groups were doing. What if we sat back and started looking at some of the positive things. That some of the Muslim groups were doing. What if we focused on some of the positive things. Some of the Christian groups were doing. Instead of looking at all the negative. Again. When you focus on the negative, that's what you put out into the universe. You create more of that negativity by focusing on that negativity, by sending your energy on that negativity. Instead of listening to all the drama and the chaos and the gossip about people's lives, all the negative stuff. Let's look for the positive stuff that people are doing. Let's look at the lives of the people that are down in the streets. There's nobody's really talking about. Let's focus on them. Let's talk about them in a positive light. Let's uplift them. The choice is ours. What is going to be your blueprint? What is going to be the imprint that you leave on humanity? All white people aren't bad people. All black people in the ghetto ain't bad people. All politicians ain't bad people. All Christians ain't bad people. All Muslims ain't bad people. We have to understand that. We have to grow up and stop being so judgmental and destructive. We're very destructive with our thoughts, with our energy. By saying that all Muslims are bad and they're terrorists and, they're da -da 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 -da, and all Christians are fucked up and da -da -da -da, that's negative and toxic and destructive. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. Man, hope and pray that I system to encourage you, to inspire you, to challenge your way of thinking. Happy healing. Peace.